Hey! Why do I have a fireplace on in the middle of the summertime? Well, it's not a real fireplace. Um, I like uh, making videos about, and I've already just got done making one, this is the second one, about surefire, hardcore, undeniable facts of uh, photography. So this would be video number two for today. Hardcore facts about photography that you nor anybody else watching this video has a chance in hell of refuting. Um, of the people that have taken my advice on this, and if you take my advice on this, you have zero chance of saying, oh my God, I took his advice on this, and it turns out not to be true, or, you know, not a chance. Um, I don't know who said it first. I think it was me, and that's the best lens is really good lighting. Um, to improve your photography, and of course improving your photography has infinitely more to do with you than it does your camera, your gear, obviously so. Best professional photographer in the world with like a cheap Nikon D7100 will certainly run circles around you with your expensive Nikon D4, D5. We're not talking about that. However, everything in digital photography, as well as photography in general, is about sensor saturation. There is no downside to to ETTR, or sensor saturation. The most important thing that you could do, and we all do it, and God knows I'm the worst, but I do love to review lenses, is to review lenses, talk about lenses, compare lenses, contrast lenses, because people want to save money. I mean, they ask me about that. I mean, they don't want to piss their money away on lenses, but the best thing that you could possibly do, other than saving for that upteenth number, and God knows I have way too many lenses myself, instead of saving up for that upteenth lens, and lighting scares the hell out of people, is take the advice that everybody's taken my advice on this, and uh, will confirm that it's 1,000% accurate, is you'll help yourself far, far more by spending four or 500 bucks on lighting than you will by buying another camera. We all love to piss and moan over the latest, greatest camera, Nikon's new mirrorless, the new Fuji this, the blah, blah, that. Wonderful. And is this really talk about gear? It kind of is, but lighting is outside the realm of gear. I mean, it is gear, of course, damn it, but we usually think of uh, cameras and lenses, obviously so, and to a certain degree, speed lights, and of course it is all gear, but ever consider buying yourself like one nice studio strobe, a nice, cheap, decent one? I mean, I know many of you don't live in the United States, so you don't have an option of buying a Pulsi Buff units. You actually do, but you'd have to have a forwarded, use a forwarding company, but Whichever studio strobe you have option of uh, getting, whether that be uh, L and Chrome, which I personally don't like, or Pro Photo, which is obnoxiously overpriced, but a decent studio strobe. But if not that, then at least two or three speed lights and a uh, radio trigger. I like a Godox 685 with the uh, X Pro trigger. Both of those two combined are 170 bucks. You could do far, 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 far more with a radio trigger and a speed light than you can with that next lens or whatever the hell it is you're saving up for. I, I need, you know, I'm saving up for this new latest greatest lens and this and that. Um, a leather camera bag. $500 will go further. Of course, nothing will go further than improving your skills, obviously so, but that's not for sale. That's part of your learning and uh, skill development, but uh, why have you not considered purchasing a strobe? Um, maybe your photography is not prone towards packing around or using a strobe and a portable power pack. I do understand that, but for God's sakes, what about a, a two or three speed lights and a radio trigger too, and specifically a power pack? Most people don't realize how important a power pack is. I mean, if you don't do uh, any sort of event or corporate photography or any action photography, people don't realize that you could have a giant bag of batteries and a speed light, but it won't do you any good because a huge bag of batteries will not help that uh, speed light recharge faster. Uh, if you're not going to get a strobe, and I understand the reasons why many people don't consider a strobe, but people are afraid of lighting in general, you need at least a power pack, like a Godox uh, power pack, which I think is, and I have one, I'm looking at it right over here, is only, what, $130? It'll give you, <coughs> excuse me, extremely fast uh, recharge time on uh, your speed light, which is incredibly important for sports, action, 
event photography, photojournalism, countless other things. All the batteries will not help you because they cycle uh, the, uh, the computer on the speed light, but they have only a means of uh, recharging the capacitor so fast because the best AA batteries on earth, and those are the best, the Inalube 2600 uh, milliamp uh, batteries, they can't recharge that capacitor in a speed light fast enough. This is why you need a power pack. The next best thing to any studio strobe is at least a couple speed lights, good radio trigger, and a power pack. Power pack is necessary for speed light photography. Not for all speed light photography, but most of it. It makes a world of difference. Ultra fast, nearly instantaneous. Well, full blast recharge time is one second as opposed to many, 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 many. That crap does not work for wedding photography, event, photojournalism. You can't do that. You can't get there with batteries. So please take my advice. It is absolutely impossible to uh, disagree with this video. There are a few things that I can actually make videos about where I can actually say, you haven't got a chance in hell, whether you like me, don't like me, of disagreeing with the points in this video. You don't have a chance in hell. Um, $170, for example, will get you a Godox 685 and a radio trigger like the X-Pro trigger. By the way, Robert's camera who's uh, got the best customer service in the United States, uh, is now packing, excuse me, now uh, carrying Godox uh, speed lights and triggers. They actually announced that on their Twitter page last week. I highly recommend to you to stop giving money to people that don't give a crap about you or me. That is, everybody up in New York City. They package everything really poorly, as you very well know and as I very well know. They don't give a damn about you. Buy from somebody, since it's the same price anyway, that packages it well, gives you great customer service. Why not buy from Roberts? No, I'm not a commercial for Roberts. No, I get nothing from Roberts' camera. No affiliate links. I've got no connection to Roberts. Um, they do like the fact that I make these videos about them, but uh, I'm being factual, you know. Um, so, we all love to piss and moan about the greatest cameras and lenses. Just, just buy, you know, a couple speed lights and at least a radio trigger and a power pack. Two speed lights and a radio trigger and a power pack from Godox, for example, would run you two, twenty, three hundred, uh, right at four hundred and twenty bucks, right around there. So that's two speed lights, radio trigger, and power pack. The PB. 600 PB whatever it is power pack I forget what the serial number um, the model designation is even though I'm looking at it right here is a power pack for the speed light um, all Godox speed lights by the way use a Canon interface the actual uh, interface mechanism for the external power packs is a Canon the same as uh, for uh, Canon's uh, power connector most all uh, speed lights if they're semi-professional they have a little port underneath the uh, infrared uh, detector lamp. You pull off the rubber cover and there's this uh, three prong. Depends on the shape, meaning the connectivity, whether it be Nikon, Canon, Sony, Fuji. But uh, you need a cable that goes from there to the power pack. So, um, Other than improving your skill set, which is an obvious no-duh, foregone conclusion, nothing will help your photography better than uh, some professional lighting equipment. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Sensor saturation is everything. There is a reason why basically 95% of professional photography is flash photography, whether that be speed light flash or, or, uh, or strobe, professional studio strobe. There is a reason why. Uh, the images look so much better. The best lens in the world cannot do what uh, good sensor saturation from a xenon flash tube, whether that be strobe or a speed light, can do. That's not my opinion, that's a fact. So, since these are undeniable facts, it might behoove you to take, um, take heed of them and improve your, if that's what your intention is of improving your photography. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go uh, slather on some aloe vera on my neck since I sunburned my neck today. Uh, because, you know, everybody thinks I sit behind this desk inside all the time. <laughs> Which is not the truth at all. You know, generally speaking, I can't get sunburned inside this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, domicile.
Thank you for watching, and I'll have the uh, X uh, T100 review here in a couple days, which I've been out using and testing. Thank you. Dosvidanya, uvidimsia, paka, aloha, hasta luego, and goodbye. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>